What can you tell me of Samsung vs Whirlpool refrigerators? Samsung fridges tend to accumulate moisture and keep a high humidity. It is perfect for growing penicillin but is a murder for your lunch meat and cheese. I've heard that a lot of fridges tend to accumulate moisture. Actually, Whirlpool fridges tend to lose moisture and freeze dry your food. Well, whatever term you use to say you've coolly dried out your salad until it looks like a freeze dried snack. That's not going to be a deciding factor. The Samsung 2014 fridge lineup has problems with condensation and humidity. I think that's fairly normal for fridges. They all get humid sometimes. Not when you open the crisper to make salad and find you already have vegetable soup. What do you think of Samsung fridges? Samsung units have mediocre fit. Too many of their components barely fit together. A leaky door seal blows the energy efficiency of the unit. Samsung does a lousy job of handling warranty repairs. And their service for warranty work is lousy. That's not uncommon in the appliance repair business. Samsung sometimes refuses to cover the repair of a replacement part when that part fails, though it is just as much a problem as the original failure. It sounds like Samsung is the worst of the two evils. Repairmen say Samsung fridges are repair prone, and they ought to know. Some of their fridges stop cooling the food after just a few weeks. That by definition is failing to meet the functional requirements of the product. It is like a heater that doesn't heat, well, the very opposite but same concept. Whirlpool fridges are better by Samsung units, but not by much. And that's saying something, saying how bad Samsung fridges are.